Now we'll be looking at the real device configuration and in order to do that you need to connect your device with uh, the USB cable. Now make sure that uh, you are using uh, a real, uh, I mean real as in uh, not the pirated cable, uh, you are using uh, the actual and uh, the original USB cable because at times uh, if you are connected to a pirated cable you might not be able to transfer the data from your real device uh, to your laptop so at times uh, most of the drivers are not uh, configured properly so you might not be able to make communication with your real device now i am going to connect my device with the usb cable so once i connect uh, i got uh, a message on my laptop uh, for my device name and on my device I got something allow USB debugging right as soon as you connect your device you'll get this option allow USB debugging click on always allow from this computer right uh, you'll not be able to see this because uh, I have not taken a remote of my device right now so Give me a moment, uh, this may go away. I'll see if I can take a screenshot. Yeah. So I'll click on OK and I'm going to show you the screenshot. Uh, so in order to uh, view the mobile device on your laptop screen, you can do one thing in case you have a Samsung device. So there is something uh, like you can download a software on your laptop called as team viewer now the same application you need to download it from the play store and the application name is quick support i'll just gonna connect it and show it to you give me a moment So this is my TeamViewer ID, uh, the, which is showing on my device, TeamViewer. So I'll click on connect, allow, and you should be able to see my device now. This is my real Android device, right? So the one that I was talking about as soon as you connect your cable you're gonna see this option allow USB debugging but before that you need to do some configuration on your device uh, in case you won't see this USB debugging coming uh, let me maximize the screen so what you need to do is go to settings and over here you'll see something called as developer option now at times on some devices by default developer options is not enabled so what you need to do is go to about phone and go to software information you'll find build number over here you need to tap six times on your build number so the navigation could be different depending on uh, what uh, mobile device you are on if you are on Samsung or LG or Oppo or any other uh, like uh, vendor so this navigation could differ from device to device but yes I mean if you tap six time if you don't uh, see build number uh, uh, developer options you need to tap six times like this you can see it is showing no need developer mode has already been enabled so once it is enabled you go back and you will see developer options over here so click on this developer options and from here you need to turn on something called as USB debugging this option this is very important otherwise you might not be able to do any communication with your device the other thing that you could turn on is stay awake 
so this will never let your device uh, sleep as in when you are performing any testing your device will not get lock automatically right it will the device screen will always be turned on but make sure when you are connected to a charger for charging your device just turn off this otherwise again the light will be turned on right all the time so these are the two options that uh, you need to enable and then you need to uh, allow your computer uh, for this USB debugging click on OK option and then you are done with configuring your real device now in case you want to make sure the device is successfully configured it's connected or not again go to command prompt and type adb devices and you should be able to see your real device id over here this is your emulator now we are connected to two different devices we can perform testing on both the devices one by one or we can perform parallel testing as well right so we'll be looking at par testing apps parallelly on uh, both the device at the same time as well in upcoming lectures right so this is what your real device configuration is and in the next lecture we're gonna download uh, apm and we're gonna configure the apm as well all right thank you